These are some of the most deadly poisons known to man in 60 seconds. Poisons can kill you in lots of different ways, but surprisingly, not all things we think are poisons are bad for you. Take cyanide, for example. It's actually a group of compounds, and one of them is found in space, and it's actually thought to be the thing that first brought life to Earth. Millions of years later, Hitler's wife, Eva Braun, and other Nazi members used hydrogen cyanide to commit suicide. Now, anthrax scares pop up occasionally, it's because it's easily made into powder form, and inhaling just a little bit blocks your respiratory system and kills up to 90% of the people that come in contact with it. Medicinal herbs and poisons have been used since before we even had writing. Historically, the most popular poison is hemlock, which comes from a common plant and leaves us with an inability to breathe and paralysis, which leads to death. It's what was taken by the Greek philosopher Socrates when he committed suicide suicide. But one of the deadliest poisons in history is ricin. Like hemlock, it's been readily available throughout history, being extracted from the common castor bean. What it does is stops the protein production in the body, which we can't live without. But the granddaddy of all poisons is botulinum. One spoonful can kill millions of people because even the slightest exposure shuts down the nervous system, leading to death. A purified strain of botulinum is actually what's used in Botox, the famous anti-wrinkle injection. For some more surprising poison facts, check out this video or click the subscribe button for more science in 60 seconds, and we'll see you next time.